Come on, Rangers. Come on, Rangers. We missed the whole game. And, you know, and for all the tea in China, for every time I talk about the season, I forever think we're five points fucking clear, a game in hand, right? And we were going to fucking win it, right? And there's no way, there's no way around that. You know, the bottom line is I'll, I'll forget all about it. I'll be abroad and having a vodka and tonic and, and fucking start telling someone, you know, because it's always there, isn't it? You can't get rid of that fact. You know, I mean, we, we took two seasons to get through Ryman 1, two seasons to get through the Ishmian Prem. And um, the fact of the matter is we, we'd done one season of the playoffs here and we'd gone top. And I thought to myself, blimey, this is, you are really now thinking this is, um, if we get to the National League, that's phenomenal in, in, in five seasons or something for Michigan League football. That would have been phenomenal. And it's not built on money. We've just got a really good model that works. And uh, This feels like it's just a bump in the road that's not really going to stop you. Like yeah, this. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, the, the absolute goal was a home playoff game in front of a packed house. There's no guarantee about that next year, but if you're talking, can Dawkins and just get a home playoff game next season? Then yeah, <laughs> we, we can. So, and, and that will be the aim again. What we bring to the party, this level of football, is a passion uh, for success because of where we come from. We're not in it for money. Um, all the management team are volunteers. Um, I'm the biggest volunteer of all. I'm an investor. And um, so if we want to win and, and we get denied it, we're going to be bothered, you know? After 41 games, 104 goals scored, a handful of shocks and a measure of meltdowns, oh, and a season-long injury crisis that Mark doesn't like to talk about every week, Dorking Wanderers' season has finally reached a crescendo. Mark White's team are in the National League South player final, where they will face Ebbsfleet United, the team that finished one place and five points beneath them. And while Dorking do have home advantage by virtue of finishing higher in the league, Ebbsfleet will visit Meadowbank confident in their ability to put an end to Mark's quest for promotion glory. Thus, two days before the final, Mark, his coaching team and the players are going through one final training session to prepare for their day in the sun. Don't forget, right, we have to get our heads right tonight as well. We can't be the management version of them because they've won a game on Saturday and it felt great, and it felt great for a week. And then when that game starts Saturday, you'll realise you're in a fucking game straight away. Yeah. So we've got to get them into this tonight. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, really get them into it. Everything they do, like standards, like if they're shooting and they're trying to fucking lob or go near post, across the keeper, whatever we're doing has to be high standards, really high standards, yeah? What did I say this time last week? You tell me. I thought the Oxford prep and your mindset, so tune in to me because that was one of the great things, the Oxford prep and your mindset at the training session before it and on the Saturday was the best I've ever seen. We'd won the game before they blew the whistle. And it's the first time I thought that all season. So what I said to you was, we've got to get a sweet spot between it being just another game, but it not being just another game. And, the, and that sweet spot is just getting the prep right and making sure we've got the detail individually, collectively, we've got all the detail. That's what that means, okay? Because I know that you'll be at the races and we're going to do what we've done Saturday and we're going to play it our way and our way only. And obviously, the opposition, you know, will be triple questioning how they're going to get away with a back three or four and all that shit because they're coming to us. So we'll just worry about what we do. I'm looking for you boys to take on all of this on board, yeah? Like you did last week. Okay, lads? Good stuff. Mark is acutely aware that Ebsleet's formation and system could be a major issue for the way he likes to play. And so he's working on a plan to stop Ebbsfleet from having an overload at the back. Frustratingly for the manager, the players aren't quite getting it. Stop! 
Right, first team coming here quick, yeah? I'll tell you one last time. You lot wait. When it's moving and they're travelling, what I've asked you to do is sit off and engage the play around about where that goal is. That's it. It can't be hard, yeah? I'll be out till midnight, I don't give a fuck. Okay, we've got to get right. I, was, I mean, fucking ridiculous, right? Let's do it right. Go kick! Go kick! No! 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 Always this side! Always this side! Always this side! Goal kick. Goal kick. Does anyone know what a goal kick is? And I'm not sure. So if it goes static, if it goes static, static means, yeah, that, you know, it's gone, it's gone in the stand, someone's kicked the ball on. If it's static, yep, and they've got a goal kick, we always send up our right winger. Anyone not understand that? Not left winger? Nobody else. The right winger. So that's a, a Jimmy, Nicky, that role. Got that, mate? And all we're saying is, in open play, so this is their back three, this is what will happen. One of our strikers, one of our four strikers who plays, will always try to do their bit on that bloke. Understand? Yeah? Okay. We do that every week, have done for several years, okay? Just out of interest for you, little test, yeah? I know you might probably think I'm a wanker now. I, I, I really don't care, this is basic football, yeah? If, for whatever reason, this bloke's on the ball, all of our back three start to see which way it goes. And when you watch Premier League football, your brother plays it, you watch it. And when you watch the way they, they move across the pitch, if you've ever watched it from a high, you watch the players, they just do this. And then like, it's almost like slow motion and they go like that. Because they, they, they know the game. They understand the triggers. Listen, I have to fucking be passionate about what we do because we're not here in a million years to fucking make the numbers up, boys. Like, this is our biggest game in club history. And you know what I'm gonna do? We are gonna fucking enjoy it, foremost. You won't hear one moan out of me the whole Saturday. And we're gonna fucking enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy everything about it. We're gonna enjoy it if we get beat. We're gonna enjoy it if we win. We're gonna fucking enjoy it. We're gonna do what we do. And we're gonna fucking enjoy it, okay? But what we are gonna do is make sure we're switched on to the little things we spoke about. If they play four, two, three, one now, it's waste the whole fucking session. Yeah, Bobby, just tell them we spent the whole session on a 3 five, 2 If they play 4 2 three, one, just in case you're, if anyone's not clear, it's just a full press. Yeah, there's no spare player. We get to full press them, they get to go long, we get to win the headers. Playing out, we go around the edges, we go into the 10, it's full press. Okay, boys? Good. Cheers, lads. If you take out the static part, what we were asking them to do is what they normally do. They just couldn't seem to get their head around the fact that if they get a goal kick, we're going to push the right hand side up, so we're man for man. I mean, fucking, I couldn't believe it. I think, I think obviously, I, I, you know, I was the one that went through the breach. Obviously, I didn't put it across right, clearly, because I didn't, you know, even Jason was going, well, what, what if it's that side? It doesn't matter if it's that side. Still, even it goes up. It's just still Jimmy, he was like, well, does Nicky go? No, just Jimmy, you can just keep it simple. Jimmy's side goes up, then we're man for man, Bosch. Like that's going to play on their mind now. Yeah, that's going to be the final. We, we don't yeah, I totally that. agree. I totally agree. Just to be like... Yeah, I totally agree. I think what I'll do is tomorrow I'll just obviously put some calls in and all the rest of it and some messages and stuff like that and just sort of say, listen, we've got to fucking be switched on, get it right. We're only asked to do a basic press. If we're struggling with it for whatever reason, we'll just fucking just have to fucking sit off and sit off. But they use that overload to win games. They use that overload to win games. It's not just there for fucking fun. I might say t feedback taken, do you know what I mean? Be clever. All right, cool.
So what we've got to do, a bit like last week, we've got to get that sweet spot between it being a normal game and a big game. It can't be a holiday camp because, because it's a, a big game and, and we're here. Obviously the aim is to, is to win. And all we've got to do is really, really think about what it's going to take to win the game. So we've got to be calm and controlled at all times, especially if we go a goal behind or, you know, God forbid we do. I don't think we will, but if we do, got to be very controlled, that's got to come across. Do you know what I'm saying, yeah? You know, our boys are in a good place. They're used to this, you know, they're used to it. They're used to having fun. Do you know what I mean? We always have a laugh. They're used to it being lively. You know, I've got no qualms at all, really. It's going to be carnage here today. And um, I'm sure there's going to be some heart and mouth stuff during the 90 minutes. But um, no, the players are going to be absolutely fine. I keep these boys in check. I control them mentally. They're very experienced as well. And um, they can't wait, Rich. They're that type of team. Look, you want to get out here. Do you know what I mean? You want to get, you want to get out on the pitch and get the job done. We don't fear anybody. None of us, the management team. We've been doing this a long time. We've been doing it a long time. And a lot of those players have as well. And what I'd say is like, you know, no matter which way the result goes today, you know that they'll give it everything. That's, that's what you know. And that's all you can ask for. Hi, Hello, mate, you all right? Timing's perfect, Right, we all in, yeah? Uh, Jimmy, do you mind? Right, boys. Good, good, Fogster. Right, good, good. Right, cheers, lads. I know it's, you can open that window if you want to open that window. Get some air. Cheers, mate. Right, so, um, obviously, like I said last week, really, just get the sweet spot between um, a normal game and a big game. Yep. It's just all we need to think about now is just doing everything we need to do, um, and we normally do, at home, in front of two-thirds of our fans. It's going to be rammoed, OK? And we'll just do what we normally do. Last week was just the epitome of a side that's elite. Elite thinking... Elite football, I told you about that comment I see online. Zero nerves, that club, that team. That's us, that's how we roll. So we're just going to carry on like that. That's how it is, boys, OK? Um, not even worried, really, about how they play. I'll let you know before we go out. We're expecting a 3-5-2. It'll either be a double pivot or a single pivot, but we'll see, OK? I don't think a lot is ever asked of this lot defensively at all. All right, so we're going to make them defend. Balls into the ten. Balls off Jason, you ran a corner, you ran a corner, off Jason. Yeah, third man running. We're going to make this team defend today. I think you have to stop crosses and shots and dribbles. They've got a few who want to dribble the ball, right? And they need to be tackled, right? When there's, and it, like Baz does, if someone goes past near him with socks down here and shin pads that are the size of my mobile phone, He's fucking smashed them in about a second. Because them players don't like that. That's why they're wearing them shit shin pads. Okay? All right, Moro? Yeah. Well, I bet Moro's got some of the old shin pads about that big. <laughs> <laughs> when he first started playing. Shin detectors. Not now. <laughs> um, but on a serious note, they've got boys like Pax, Paxman, uh, Chapman. They've got boys that dribble with the ball. Right, I think that's probably it, boys, to be fair. I wrote down here, balls in the box are key. Yeah, because that's where we're dangerous. Last week, them diagonal balls in the box were fucking excellent. I want balls in the box, yours are the same. Unbelievable quality cheats. So the centre half, the minute fucking there's a winger, how many times do you hear the manager go, stop crosses? They know what's coming next. They know we've got players that score goals to get the ball in the fucking box. Right, don't forget that, boys, OK? The objective was today. So... Last week, we was phenomenal. Phenomenal in the warm-up, the whole shebang. The boys that ain't playing, the subs, everybody was phenomenal, OK? So we just do that again today and show why we are elite. And you lot need to fucking, as I know you will, start this game on fucking fire. All right, boys, same mindset as last week. It was brilliant, OK? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm, I won't lie, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> but it's good tired. You know, buzzing, 
adrenaline's pumping as it is with the rest of the team and uh, we just can't wait. We can't wait for the action to start today. Basically just getting everything ready for, for the big day. The National League have made us tick a lot of boxes, um, naturally being a big game with a big crowd. I'm feeling fine. I'm just saying to the lads I've had a good night's sleep, I had a good lay in and I'm nice and fresh and looking forward to a, what, well, what's going to be a smashing day. Playoff fever is good at Wanderers, we've had experience of it before and it's always penalty shootouts and last minute dramas. So I uh, hope we get it done in 90 minutes today. The, the ground is buzzing already and it's only what, quarter 12, something like that? It's such a buzz in the town, even now, just coming through the high street, I mean the place is alive already. So it's a, it's, it's a 3,000 sellout, record uh, crowd down here at Meadowbank. Um, Ipsfleet are bringing 960. So it's going to be a good, strong away contingent. We're giving them the fan zone today. So they've got a nice area to have a drink and a bite to eat and enjoy themselves. I, um, I live on the Isle of Wight, born and bred Dorking. Can you, know, you can't take it out of you, so I'm up here for the big game the Dorking's ever, ever had, apart from the Plymouth game, but we won't talk about that one. Um, I'm Gavin, M3 supporter, work down the club, come to support our local side. How long have you been an Epsley fan? 20 years. Uh, my name's Les, just come down to see Epsley. How long have you been an Epsley fan? Uh, since the mid-70s, been going down there. As a kid. Did you come all the way from the other way to here for today's game? For today's game and going back tonight as well. Wow. Yeah, it's got to. I've been, I think, about three times this season. And away, Eastbourne. Yeah, I went to Eastbourne, which I never did. I actually travelled up with a linesman. Well, he's brought one of the linesmen for the day because he's on the Isle of Wight as well. So. He's brought in the fleet since I was seven, so it's been a lot of pain over the years. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I'm not too sure how we're going to get on today because obviously Dalton have been pretty good. Um, but yeah, you know, you never know one-off game, so we'll see what happens. Are you nervous? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting promotion this season, the way we've been playing. I think our goalkeeper has had as many touches as any, as any outfield player. Sure. Yeah. The ball always seems to be going back to the goalkeeper playing that from goal all the time. That's okay, but it seems to be all the sort of time. What are you expecting from that today? Victory. 3 2, nail biting. Played four at the back. 4 4, four, four 2, and it normally plays, or 4 5 1. So do you defend us? Keeps changing it, you don't know. Um, I think we're up against it today, I think with the pitch, and obviously, I guess obviously when we was last year, I think it's 5 1. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be an open game because both teams, you know, here to play football and obviously high goal scorers, Dawkins. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. Yeah, the team know where they are, they know what time of day it is, these boys today, so if the dead balls are important, Jukes, making sure they know that that dead ball could be the one that, that wins or loses yeah. the day. Yeah. So get in their heads that every time that goes dead, make sure you say that, Jukes. Yeah, yeah. Can you find the magnets? Send them not in there. Fucking magnets at this club. No, it's Mitch, mate. I've been, I've been saying to him for two fucking weeks about magnets. <laughs> We're rather for yeah. Oh, are you? Yeah. Fucking hell, you must be better than him at football. <laughs> you must be better than Alfie, surely. Yeah. Everyone's better than Alfie. I feel like I'm I'll bag it for you, I'm fat, man. Right, boys, cheers for coming down. So, whichever way we cut and paste it, it's going to be three on three in midfield. Yeah. Yeah. So, Moro can organise that. And we're either going to be, uh, it's either going to be a full press either end. Yeah. Um, so we're man for man. Keeper's got to make good decisions. 
that is a competition game, so your job today is to protect yourself. I ain't got an issue with that, mate. But if so we'll have to get info on if they're three or four. If they are a back three, it means we've got an overload, you need to find that spare man. All right, mate? Dan, stay in your box. <laughs> We've got to make it a normal game. Normal game. Put, put some fucking pace on the game. Put some serious pace on this game. I've done the old one line, ref goes, listen, we've got to be careful with those flares on the pitch. I thought, mate, nah. Oh, skinny, this is skinny jeans, ref. I bet it's like that. Keep the info going on, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Just take two minutes doing your final bits. Great fucking warm up, well done. Well done. Listen to what I'm saying to you now. As you do, don't have to look at me, but listen. So he's made a couple of changes. He's brought in a, a defender. Now it could be to release the little lad Solly into midfield, because he was worried about him up against Jace at the back. Or it could be, because he's gonna go, for, to go to a back four and try and strangle us and press us. If he does try and strangle us and press us, I've told Dan, we'll go around the outside really quick when we can. Or you might have to go in the box and get the ball, then give it to a winger or Jason. Or we might have to go shallow. Especially first 20 minutes, if it's tight as fuck. If they play the 3-5-2, then Danny's gonna make sure that with the back three, we're gonna get the ball moving. And we're gonna run, we're gonna run them two on one down the sides. That's what we'll do. Your thinking has to be your own here. You have to go into that mode where no, no one else exists, you and 10 mates, loads of information, getting your role right, winning your battles, yeah, if you have a sloppy start, shorten the game up. If you have a great start, do even more of it. You keep looking around the corner because that's where they don't want you to run, okay? Don't expect the ref to give little stuff. He's going to let this game flow, right? He's going to let this game flow, I guarantee you, right? So make sure we're drilled, all right, boys? 90 minutes is a long time down here. I always say that. We're always good for two, three goals across 90 minutes down here. We are a fucking side and a half, boys. All right, lads? And they know that. They know that. They know that. They're only in this game today until you put them out of it. Because they don't think they can get anything out of this game. I'm telling you. Body language walking out. They don't think they can. Right? So we do what we do here. Forward passing as much as pos. Okay, yeah? All right? Come on. Good luck, mate. It's annoying we've got a loser between us. Yeah, there you yeah, go, mate. Good luck, mate. Good. Let's go, fast start, yeah? Jace, loads of info. Loads of info. Nicky, keep him high. Wait, be the fucking match with the Jimmy. Come on, son. Come on. Let's go, loads of info, yeah, Dan. Loads of info, yeah? When he goes, if he goes direct, straight away, get off Jace. Straight away. Oh, Jimmy, have the game of your life, son. Let's go. Best. Talk best, to mate. me, I'll talk back to you. I won't, I don't, I, honestly, I don't even talk to folks. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. We'll close the wall up with our English dead. Ha! <laughs> well, that took a nasty turn that I didn't see coming. Anyway, for the last time this season, Dorking's bench are about to be flummoxed by an opposition's formation. This time, to invoke Alfred Hitchcock, we shall reveal the bomb under the table in advance. That is to say, Ipsfleet are indeed playing three at the back. However, out of possession, the wing-backs are dropping deep into a flat five. It may take the bench a while to figure this one out. So you've got three, 24, 26. As Dino gets knee-deep in shirt numbers and calls up John the Bible for formation feedback, Ipsfleet gets onto the front's foot, no doubt aware of Dawkins' proclivity for scoring early goals. Right, what have you got it? Back, it's obviously about four, but... Right, got it, uh, back three. Back three. You got it about three. From the stands, John the Bible has the system sussed, and on the pitch, Dorking are pushing on up. Crosses! Get up! 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 Get up!
the box, Nicky! Playoff encounters are often tentative affairs, but from the outset, both Dorking and Ebbsfleet are playing with freedom, although Ebbsfleet's precise game plan is yet to reveal itself. Get round him, Jimmy! United are looking comfortable on the ball and Dorking are struggling to break them down. Jack Paxman plays a give and go with Elliot Romain and then slides the ball into Rakish Bingham. Bingham slips at the crucial moment and waves a leg at the ball as if it were a mosquito he had no real belief in connecting with. Because, you know, they're, they're really small and they move so fast. Really hard to connect with. Get the midfield sorted. Get the midfield sorted. The midfield, the midfield three. It's just passing and running, mate. They're not following one, two, that's all. Despite Bingham's comedy air shots, Ipsfleet's keep hold of possession. This is not the kind of start Dorking are accustomed to. Press, Baz! Mate, they're pressing wrong. Beardy, they're pressing wrong. Baz is spare. Dorking have not got their marking and pressing right, and it's vexing their normally docile manager. He's keeping himself spare. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy! You, you press him! When the Wanderers do get forwards, Ebbsfleet are locking it up at the back and depriving the front men of space in the box. Now back up! Back listen, up! Cheat will have to come over, mate! We've got... Listen to me! Yes, listen, listen to me! You can if Cheadle comes round. He's out all the way out there. Them two have to shuffle. Them two have to come round. They're two and one, yeah? Let him have it! The training session two days earlier was intended to prepare the Wanderers for the required press against the visitors' build-up play. Yet Ebbsfleet are enjoying too much space coming forwards. Seconds now, seconds, win it, win it! Good boy! A ball over the top to Bingham is only just cut out by the toe of Cheadle. Until Dorking suss out the press, Ebbsfleet are going to keep coming, and even then, the counter attack is going to be dangerous. Jason Alfie, got me more switched on. Listen, uh, listen. I know we're doing the right thing, asking them to watch the runners, but they don't know their shape. So at the moment, it's dangerous because they're going to score. We don't do something bad. They don't know their shape. They don't know who they're picking up. When Saido John Batty heads Ben Chapman's free kick wide, there's an overwhelming sense of dread permeating around Meadowbank. Ebbsfleet are looking the most likely to score, and Dawkins can't seem to do much about it. Big Dyer! Jason! Big Dyer, on Solly, on Solly! Get off him! Get away, get away! Get away, get away. Dorking finally peg Ebbsfleet's back, but they still don't threaten the goal. The visitors, meanwhile, are clearly primed to counter. Get an angle on it! Fuck's sake! As Dorking make a mess of a dead ball situation, Coach Carl has finally figured out the Ebbsfleet system, but it might be a bit late. It's just a 3 5 2. It's a 3 5 3 2, but the only thing we're finding hard is when, we're, when they're out of possession, they are bang a back five. That's because we've done fucking shit. That's just a static hanging the ball up. The pattern of play is settling down. Dorking have possession while Ebbsfleet press, and the balance is leaning in Ebbsfleet's favour. They're pressing us in these areas really good. Jimmy! 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 Take him the other way! Do you know what it is, Sammy? What it is is we need to do it in one pass. Yeah. One pass! We're doing three passes and then they're getting that. Alfie! Alfie's spinning, go on. Step up, step up, step up, step up! Got to go second, got to go all the way, Dan! Got to go all the way! Relax! Nicky Wheeler, Nicky Wheeler! Simple and quick. Dan! Well done, set it up! Dan, just set it up! Don't fucking run! Quality in! Quality! 
when they do get into strong positions, Dorking aren't delivering. Cheadle's overhit cross is typical of their shaky start. Josh Taylor is robbed on the edge of the box and Jack Paxman is given the space to send Rakish Bingham through on goal. Dino's wondering why Dan Lincoln didn't race off his line, but Mark specifically told his goalkeeper to stay in his box on such occasions. Partly because they don't have a goalkeeper on the bench, because if he'd committed a foul outside the box, he would have got a red card, but inside the box would probably be a yellow card, so, you know, that's, that's why. Dan's done the right thing, unfortunately. Where'd it come from before that? Josh lost it on the edge of the box. Josh! 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 Ball's in the box! Come on! Let's lift it! Josh, let's get going, come on! Dan's done the right thing, mate. Dan's done the right thing. That was close. If he comes for that, that's close. Dorking have responded positively to the setback, even if they haven't managed to alienate goalkeeper Louis Molden. Man, I thought it was Molder. I've just wasted 10 minutes writing a load of jokes related to UFOs. Fuck's sake. More Taylor and McShane are beginning to take control in the middle of the park, and as a result, Dorking are peppering the Ebbsfleet box with crosses. Get round Jim, get round Jim! Run it! Jimmy! Jimmy! They're not gonna fucking do this for 90. Yeah. Buzzy, you can cross! Despite the increased pressure, Rutherford and Pryor are still isolated, and without that cutting edge, Dorking remain vulnerable to Ebbsfleet's breaks. Alfie Egan's astonishing ability to keep a hold of the ball allows Ebbsfleet to break from Dorking's increasing dominance. Countering might be the game plan, but when they do attempt to keep possession, they're proving hard to stop. There's a fucking three of us not marking anyone, man. Who's Jimmy? Jimmy, get across! Get oh, there's more on! Oh. Are you running, son? Sprint! You're in! Get up! Get up! Jason, yeah. so bad! Outside of him! Like a banker fresh out of business school who has just started in the city, Alfie gets his first sniff, but to no avail, as Molden saves with the skinner of his teeth. Both men go short, Turbo runs off, 3-1 if he sits. 
To be fair, mate, they're not threatening us at all. The only problem we've got is if we lose it high. I'm all right with it. By the way, you've done the right thing now. You've done the right thing. Dan, get any goal, mate. Cheadle, mate, it's a good time for that club hammer. Cheadle's underwhelming free kick and Fuller's wayward volley are indicative of how the game is going for Dorking. Not just because of their lack of accuracy, but by virtue of the shots coming from the left and right centre backs. The game is surprisingly short on flash points, at least until Jack Paxman and Dan Gallagher's legs have a major disagreement. Ipswich manager Dennis Kutri thinks Gallagher was reckless, while the Dorking bench field Paxman stuck one on him. Oh, mate. Much better, loads of time. Relax. Dan! Dan! Listen to me. Can't afford you to get involved. It's all done. He's got a yellow, that's not a bad thing. Okay? He's on a yellow, it's not a bad thing. Dorking are toiling away in the final third, but coming up against a green wall and the green wall lap it up before pouncing. Their game plan is now abundantly clear. Half delivery's got to be better and quicker. Dino's not wrong. His side have been in control since going behind, but with nothing to show for it. Dorking's best plan of attack has been to get the ball to Fuller and for him to hit a diagonal cross. But it's yet to reap any rewards. Right, that's the ball that's on all the time, isn't it? And we get the seconds off here. Beard is onto something. Fuller's diagonal cross causes Ebbsfleet's more problems than they can deal with, as John Barty inadvertently directs the ball towards Alfie Rutherford, whose flick falls perfectly into the path of James McShane. Let's go! Let's go! Baz, great ball! Let's go! Mickey, stay centre! The tension that was building has dissipated. I've been meaning to hang on, I've been meaning to check that that word is what I think. Sensual pleasures. No, it's got two meanings, that's fine. Yep, um, the tension that was building has dissipated. And Dorking are now having more fun. I didn't write the rest of this, I fucked this right up. Can they swap? Can they swap? These two here. We want to pack football in. <laughs> it's fucking too much. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Over here. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate, he's getting one. Come on, mate. Well done, it's dominant there. Dominant for half hour there. Well done, totally dominant for half hour. Totally dominant. Okay. Dan, great decision to not come out for that ball. Yeah. Great decision. Great decision. You made the right choice. So the one time we've asked a question of them direct ball, you've had a minute ago, great opportunity just to put the ball straight in the box, done one, one last turn. It was gaping, put it in the box. Josh, before you, get, before you give it away, yeah. put it in the box. Let me tell you something. Unless you're gonna get a shot off, from the edge of the box, there ain't that much gonna appear. So if you're in narrow areas, right, there's not that much gonna appear. This is all about giving it, either getting a shot off, or giving it to the winger, and then you boys getting in the box. You've had a much better last 20 half. Right, the minute Baz plays one ball for Jace, yeah, we win the header, we score the goal. Great follow up play. We're all over them. We're all over them, right? What's important here is the organisation. Jimmy should be taking this bloke over here somewhere. Baz trying to receive it here. And literally, we will put balls 
here, because when we see Baz on it, we will literally get up the fucking field and we'll put balls in proper areas. Now, this is not me, you know, guessing at it, is it? I said it before the game. I said before the game, it's a game you've got to put balls in the box. So when we get opportunities, we put balls in the box. We've actually put some all right balls across the box. So because they're deep, here's the trick. Just listen to me, right? Drive with the ball. You need to listen to me. It's really important that you win a sip. Drive with the ball. And Basil Cheadle, one of you, as they're driving, get high with them. Make them think, well, we can't, we can't fucking sit on the goal line. Make them commit players. Make them. That's what we'll get out of this game. Right? Don't let them think they've got a block that's good. It's not a good block. But it's only a good block if it's two passes to get to Baz. And then when Baz gets it, Jimmy's closed off and Baz has to go back to Dan. Then it's a good block. It's not a good block. We find the spare midfielder, which we've done a lot. And then we travel into that space. And then when you look sideways, you've got your overload. Do you understand? That is going to work. And if you're a midfielder and you've done this brilliantly, when, it, when we put the ball in the box, we go and win the second, like we did for the goal. This is how we need to do it. So I'm not saying go long, I'm just saying work the overload high up the pitch, yeah? Don't try any pocket passing, right? Don't try pocket passing. Don't try putting it in pockets. This is competition football. Putting a ball in a pocket to your mate running at you, right, like this, is enough for bounce and they're off on the break, aren't they? They're playing on the counter attack and they're playing on any errors that we make. That is all. There's not a lot else, is there? So, compact, travel with the ball, and now do what we do. Kick in towards our fans, do what we can do. All right? Okay, let's get the next goal. Get the next goal. It's a big goal. All right, boys, come on. Do you think, um, do you think, I'm just thinking about like, just as the game develops, is there enough space for, D for DJ to get the ball? Is there enough less lack of pressure on the ball? Is there enough space? I think there is. Yeah. Yeah. There is. More eyes picking yeah. up. Hundred yeah. percent. But but then you're going to lose more as experience. Hmm. No, I'm on about if it don't improve up with Alfie, pushing Macca on one and pushing more on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, come on! Fast start, boys, boys. Bad fast start, come on! Come on, Moro! Don't let him switch off for five minutes! Back on the ball! Dorking are aiming to start a bit brighter in the second half than they did the first, which is likely given that the coaching team have a better concept of what they're dealing with. Still, Ebb's fleet remain a solid defensive unit. There's little to no chance of the Wanderers blowing their opponents away this time. Nick Wheeler wants to keep the pace up, but in doing so, he skips a chance to set up a long throw, much to Mark's chagrin. What are you doing? You set the fucking thing up! If you think Mark's annoyed at Nick, imagine how irritated he'd be at Alex Finney after he plays the worst pass since Montgomery Clift turned down East of Eden. And Rope, and Sunset Boulevard, and Shane, and on the waterfront, and A Star Is Born, and Bridge on the River Kwai, and Rio Bravo, and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Montgomery Clift really was bad at choosing scripts. Keep him in there! Set it Nicky! Up. Nicky! Oh, make sure the edge is right! Moro! Molden is increasingly worried that Dorking will invade his goal like a swarm of bees. But Ebb's fleet is surviving, and sooner or later will counter-attack like an unstoppable alien bounty hunter. The ever-dangerous Jack Paxman spots Bingham's near-post run, but the striker slips and Dorking gets away with it. Early balls in the box, evident defensively put a foot in, don't gamble on trying to measure what he's doing. Defend like a Trojan when you need to, balls in the box when you get a chance. He's coming off attack. Nicky. 
Nick Wheeler is looking tired, but Mark wants to see if the winger can recover his energy before bringing on Bobby Joe Taylor as a replacement. With extra time a real possibility, Mark wants to conserve his substitutional ammo. He's going to sit on this for five. He's, he just, he's having a breather. We've got to be careful because of extra time. When the referee bows up for a foul by Josh Taylor, it riles the Dorking players and elicits sarcastic applause from the Ebbsfleet crowd, who are feeling hard done by when it comes to the officiating. Although perhaps a little less hard done by when the ref misses Paxman's forehead, connects with Cheadle's face. He's just dead by him. Fourth, you've seen that. Fourth, you've seen that. Even with cameras, we're not 100% sure that Paxman meant to nut Cheadle, and he gets the benefit of the doubts from the officials. Don't worry, don't get involved, don't get involved. Can't afford to get aggy. We can't afford to. As instructed at half time, Fuller again looks for the diagonal ball across to Alfie, but there's nobody there to win the seconds. Dorking came into the game with injuries taking their toll, and when Jimmy Mewitz goes down, Mark is forced to rethink his substitution strategy. The Dorking players, meanwhile, are catching a break in front of the away fans, and that inevitably leads to what footballers term banter. While Jason Pryor questions the fans' choice in clothing, Jimmy Mewitt has realised the jig is up. His game is over and Mark needs a reshuffle. Bobby, you're going to go on the right then, mate, yeah? And what you'll do is every opportunity put balls in the box. So if you do cut in once, that's quite good over there. Yeah, but obviously if you need to do it first time, you right fine. But if you cut inside, shoot. But defensively, keep everything on the outside of them. We can even pass backwards and play. Right, just all insurance play, OK? While Mark works on the new plan, the fleet are coming back into the game. Runners, Nicky! Oh. Fucking switch on! Rather than those balls zinging in, just build it up. Ed, build it up shorter. warm up, mate. Chino, be aware. Chino, be aware defensively. Both, you're both high. Bobby Joe immediately gets involved, dorking a remaining patience and looking for a decisive opening. The time we got everyone in there, we go back. Oh, man. Jason Pryor slams the ball into the net, only to discover that the ref has blown up for a push by Alfie on fleet captain Chris Solly. Someone push someone, give him a push. Even worse, Jason's injured, and worse still, a lad has set off a flare in premature celebration. Jason's done his calf. Yeah. Jason's yeah, done yeah, his calf. Yeah, I know that. I let us know when it is straight away, yeah, whether it's calf or it's cramp. Ed! Ed! Boys, get a drink if you need it. We're going to go to a back four. We're going to a back four, we're going to full press them. Listen, boys, boys, keep the balls, keep the balls down in the box. Listen to me. This is so important you can focus in this situation. Keep the balls going in the box, Bob. Not backwards, in the box. Listen to me, <clears throat> hear me. If we go to a 4 5 1, because he's struggling, so Ed might come on, you are pressing the left of their three. Where's Nicky? You're pressing this one. It's a man for man game, which puts them in a lot of trouble, especially bearing in mind we've got a big centre half. Yeah. Right? So I might take him off in a minute, and if that's the case, Baz, I know it does. Boys, we're playing, we're playing. We're, listen, no up. rush, we're no. Look, look. Oh, it's all Boys, right. come in. Sorry. Relax, relax. Listen to me. Baz, you need to send Bobby on. We get really high up the pitch and we make them fucking earn it. Yeah, right? Come on, boys. What I'm thinking, yeah, what I'm thinking is like not conceding. Obviously, it means we're going man for man with them because he's fat. He's fat. Dorking might need to adjust in the long term, but the current plan seems to be working nonetheless. These deliveries are hurting them. These deliveries are hurting them. Bad keep going, well done. Jordan, come round as a centre back. That's a 
seconds on the edge! Oh, my! Jace, Jace, you're done! Wheeler's done, Turk. Wheeler's done. Huh? Wheeler, Wheeler's done his hamstring. Who? Wheeler, Wheeler. What's wrong with him? He's done his hamstring. Hamstring, Nicky. Yeah, go down when he can. Bob, come, Bob, come over here. Moro, right. Four, it's back four, yeah? Let's go, let's do it early. Injuries to Wheeler and Pryor have forced Mark's hand. The formation and personnel must change. Nicky, I need you to go down, mate. You can't stay on in a back four, can you? Huh? You can't stay on in a back four. No, I can take out. Oh, no, eh? You can take out. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Nah. Okay, Nicky's fucked. I've got to go four, three, three. I've got to. So I'll have to take you off. All right, mate? Go over, go over there, mate. Jason Pryor's cramping up and he won't be able to perform the lone striker role. But Alfie came into the game with a calf strain and leaving him on could be a big risk. It's a 4-3-3. Three, three. OK. You're holding. Moro is down out right mid. Right wing. And Bobby's coming over here. Nicky and Jason. Yep, two. Two. DJ, don't go too far at all. Lock the game up, yeah? On the ball, keep it going. How many subs have we done? Three. You get one more in a minute. How many? Six. The referee has indicated six minutes of added time. It's all dorking as Ebbsfleet cling on to the hope of an extra time turnaround. The tension is so thick, it could read a Barry Glendening column and mistake it for journalism. Cheadle can't be last man! Moro, be alive! Paul Moro! DJ, drop! Jordan Cheadle is wrong footed by a hopeful clearance, and Dominic Polion runs at the dorking goal. DJ, run up. Four minutes into injury time, Polion's shot is tipped onto the post by Dan Lincoln, but Dorking cannot clear. The ball ends up at the feet of Craig Tanner, and he slots home to break Dorking hearts and send Ebbsfleet United on the path to promotion. In amongst the celebrations, an Ebbsfleet fan hurls the smoke bomb onto the pitch. It's a fitting, if somewhat heavy-handed, visual metaphor for Dorking's season going up in smoke. Of the 2,000 plus Dorking fans in Meadowbank, just two are unwilling to accept defeat. Mark White and Mark Beard are refusing to go gentle into that good night. Come on, we still do this. Jordan, come on, let's go. Dan, come on, ain't fucking over. Come on, DJ, come on. Three minutes. Just sit there, long, long, Dan. Mark throws Ed Harris up front and demands that his side hit it long. Nobody knows quite how long is left to play. We are well beyond the initial six minutes of injury time and Dorking force a corner much to the fury of the Ebbsfleet players. Dorking are running out of chances to rescue their season 
and they send goalkeeper Dan Lincoln up in desperation. Fleet's time wasting has pushed extra time into the eighth minute. There's an overwhelming sense that the Wanderers are going to get one more opening. Alan Fulf? One? Yeah, that's 49 and a half. He said minimum of four and a half. We're now on 53. Shit, two mistakes. Match play, innit? Match play. The away fans are imploring the referee to blow his whistle. And this goal kick may well bring an end to Dorking's season. Fuller's diagonal ball finally finds Alfie's head and he rises highest to nod the ball to the back post where Luke Moore is ready to slide it over the line. With just eight seconds left on the referee's watch, the Ebbs Fleet players are furious at the level of additional time played and visibly distraught at the unlikely comeback. Still, if they'd heard Mark's half-time team talk, they would have seen it coming. Baz trying to receive it here and literally we will put balls here, because when we see Baz on it, we will literally get up the fucking field. That is gonna work. Now, if you're a midfielder and you've done this brilliantly, we go and win the second. Beauty, 10 seconds, make sure they defend this. Oh, yeah. oh, back up! Back switch on! DJ, switch on! Fucking get in there! Need a ball. Huh? Cheat start. We have to Baz and Kane. Yeah. More smoke bombs hit the pitch, but they don't represent the season going up in smoke anymore. It's more like Dorking's season is on fire, but you know, not the inevitable painful death kind of on fire. You know, the, the good on fire. Hey, switch on now! Switch on! Kano, you're going on, mate, you ready? If you have some dash, if you have some sprints, you ready, yeah? Come on! Kane, bring Baz left back, yeah? Right back. <laughs> yeah, hello, mate, hello. Switch on! Switch on! What? Yes! Now we go again! Dorking live to fight another half hour, but they've got more injuries than Brian Robson and Darren Anderton on a day out at a water park. Mark must patch up his team for extra time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just relax. Listen, just relax. Let me do what I'm doing. Come in. Boys, boys, we ain't got long. You need to come in. You need to come in. Buzz, Beardy, I need to win, lads. Listen, just let me manage the side, lads. Is that all right? When we're under pressure, let the gaffer manage the side. All right, relax. If you do what I'm asking you, you can have a great day. A great day. I need you to fucking show some listening skills. All right, we're now calm. Kano's coming on right back, okay? Because Cheadle's fucked. Baz is going left back, okay? Simple. 
the game is a full press. Do you understand? Do you understand? They're still a back three. Carl? They're still a back three. You, no, you're looking around, lads. You're going to fuck if you don't listen. Baz, the game's a full press. OK. That means, Bobby, you outside. Outside. Yeah. Other side. Moro, press. Midfield. Midfield, OK, yeah. It's man for man. At the back, we're man for man as well. Listen to me. We've just got, don't play. The two goals have been playing in the pockets. Keep the ball on the outside of them, lads. Force dead balls. Force dead balls. They're shitting themselves. Force dead ball situations. Throws, corners. Throw everything at it. Right? You don't need to outplay them like Brazil. Like, all they want to do is get a cheap nick. Don't give them it. Right? But listen, you've got to get out. You've got to now get up the pitch. Get up the pitch. Okay? Hey, boys. Make sure DJ knows who he's picking up. It's man for man, yeah? We've never had to narrate an episode into extra time before, so honestly, we're running out of jokes. Ebbsfleets, meanwhile, are running out of steam. The blow of that last kick equaliser has broken their hearts. Conversely, Dorking are on a high, and I'm in too deep with these cliched metaphors. Watch your brothers, Moro! DJ, DJ, what stay here? And again, no fouls. DJ, shoulders! Round in, runners, just! Runners! Lino! Lino! Yeah, Lino! Fucking WWE! Okay, move it quicker, son. Even if it's a two-yard pass, move it. Get up! Get up! Up! Injuries have forced Dorking into changes, with the bonus being that the likes of Kane Wills and DJ Oldacre have given Dorking a fresh impetus. Thus, Ebb's fleet are not looking nearly as dangerous on the break. Boys. Relax! Forward! Mano, forward! Forward! Work! 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 DJ, work! Time. Hold it, hold it. And again, mate, and again. Time! Get it back! Get it back! What's the right? Die! Die! Okay, organise! Where's your shape? Where's your dad? Shoulder! Shoulder, Dad! Bobby, do a swap back when he can! Transfer! Given the occasion, it's surprising to see the game so wide open. Both teams are pushing forwards every time they get the ball. Wanderers are zipping the ball around with the kind of confidence we're used to seeing in an average league game. And for Ebb's fleet, the effect is soul-destroying. 2-1, Bobby! Quality Kane! That's shoot! Bobby! 
The substitutes Wills and Oldacre combine to set up McShane, whose shockingly convincing dummy allows Alfie Rutherford to add a goal to his pair of assists, completing a hat-trick of sorts, arguably the most important he'll ever achieve. They're pressing and they're going to press even more now. Listen to me. Get it out of your feet. Get it out of your feet and get it out wide. OK? All right? Different cars, pal! Fucking different cars! Relax! Relax! That's it! Go on, Kay, go on, Kay, go on, Kay. Get back in, Kay. Get back in, Kay. Switch over, back up! Ebb's feet try to respond as best they can, but they're a yard slower. The two marks have their team well organised. There's no way through for the lads in green. Watch out for too much instructions, lads. Try and, try and stay calm under pressure, boys. OK? I'll just do defensive. Go on. Yeah, no, keep going straight, mate. Come on! Yes! Out! Oh, right, in the corner. Go on, go to the ball. Get up! Right, go on! Right, it's cross! Right, get them high, get them high, high now. Stay, stay high, high. Stay, high. Stay, high. stay high, 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 fuck it, that's, that's the bit, Beardy, that's the bit you got to salt. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention, the go guy is back. Get on. His word seems to have the right effect. <laughs> Fucking brilliant, Barry. Go on, Alf, go on, Alf. From behind, from behind, Alf. Brilliant, Sam. Alfie's body check on Chris and Gesson sends the fleet bench into fits of melodrama and accusations of elbows. Beardy responds with his own choice words that Mark made us mute. Don't try to get sent off, did you? Stop it! Try to get him sent off. One minute, tell them. That way. Ed. Mark him! Mark him! Come to me! Come in! Boys! Dino! Listen to me! Every throw, every throw takes ages. Every, we get it in the corners as much as pos. We press the back three, man for man, so they can't walk out with the ball and they have to go long. We clear our lines the whole time, OK? Lincoln, we fall over on the ball, OK? Don't expect, though, the ref now, listen to me, don't expect the ref to start giving fouls when you go over on it, Alfie. He's not going to. Hold it in the corner, get us up the pitch. Get us up the pitch, OK? 15 minutes, OK, boys? 15 minutes of what we do well. But don't switch off. Don't switch off. Get your high press going. Let the keeper keep banging it. If you're high pressed, he's got to bang it. And that ain't their game. So just get high. Alfie, just stay central. Yeah? OK? Stay central. Bobby left, Moore right. I'll bat four and win us a game. I'll tell you now. Come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go! DJ! Get up, lads, get up! up. Oh. Relax, relax! Keep him in there! Keep him in! Get up! Relax! Relax! Calm, calm! Let's yes, Baza, sort it out now, mate, sort it out! Baza, Baza, maybe going to 25! Baza, going on a 25 a bit! Alfie Rutherford's calf has finally given way. Alfie, get on the pitch. The situation is emblematic of the way Dorking have fought against an epidemic of injuries all season. He's off the pitch, at least until he rolls himself back on. Much to Dennis Kutrebe's irritation. Don't worry about them. Don't give him any rises, mate. Don't give him any rises, mate. Don't give him an opportunity. Don't worry, just go over the line. 
Don't get involved. Alfie is told to get off the pitch if he wants to receive any physio attention. And that's something we'd generally like to see more of in the game. Just not today. Ref, can he come on? Is it? Okay. Oh, Alfie, come on! Ipsfleet want to probe for openings, but even former Cholton legend Chris Solly can't find a way through. Dorking are now holding firm, even with players cramping up. Stay your runner, back up! Back up! Go side! Solly is undeterred and taking charge. He slides in Alfie Egan, and Ebb's feet have a chance to level it up. Runners! Mark it in the box! Mark it! Solly continues to pull the strings like Jim Henson if he ever did that kind of puppeteering. We googled it but we're not sure. We obviously know that he did hand puppetry which it's just hard to believe he didn't control strings at any point. Oh, we're two on one there. They've gone five up and eight. Bobby! Bobby! Bobby, you got two! Buzzer release itself! It's all the fleets now. A cross for Ingesson could prove dangerous. It's because five, they've got five up front. They just said they went up, another went up. They're just chucking them. I don't know if they have beard. Look, look. Two strikers. Yeah, but Ingesson went on there. Yeah, so they're only doing it. Basically, when they get a spare man, they're all bombing on because they know who can send it. Stay with your men. Hook it, hook it! Go on back up, go on back up! Come on Alfie, we need you! Bobby, get in! Bobby, get in! Back up! 18! Back up! Off camera, Alfie can barely stand. His foot is cramping into awkward shapes. Alf, come on over to speed you! Alf, stop jumping for headers, just back in! When Ngessen drifts in from the left, he slips the ball to Shaq Coolthirst. And like Monet in a hen house, he draws a foul. That's a half and half then! I got three in there, Jump! Where's he shooting? Dennis Kutrieb is infuriated by Alfie getting physio attention. And Dino, he's more nervous than a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. When you go on, yeah. just stay, stay literally on the halfway line, OK? Out. Don't jump for any more heads, just back in. Pick up! Man for man! Man for man! Coming your way! Out, Bobby, second! Second, Bob! It's Ebb's fleet's turn to throw everything at the Dorking goal to see what sticks. Cool thirst is a menace, and Dorking can't get the ball cleared. Bobby, run! Bobby, run! Second! Get up! 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 Run! Up! Up! Tight! We're not 
sure we approve of that. Bro, more again. That's as good a game as I've fucking been involved in. Lads, listen up, yeah? Listen up. There's a few things that I do better there today. No, I'm joking. <laughs> listen, football is about winning. That's what it's about, yeah? The end result, you lot have been unbelievable. That's the bottom line, you've been unbelievable in adversity all season. And um, obviously, winning the league is fucking boring. <laughs> Right, yeah. The what I say, boys, listen, today, listen, unbelievable performances all over the park, but it's been that way all season, lads, OK? And that's what, that's what we do, that's what you do. That's what you do as a club. That's why people are frightened of you. That's why you should play at this club, because this club wins, OK? And this year, you take the shit, you take what comes with it, but, you know, you have to get that. To, to give you the extra edge, you have to take the shit as you go along. You have to take it personally, you have to improve it, you have to be a man about it, yeah? And then, you have your day in the sun. This is our day in the sun. And we're all going to celebrate it's it together, OK, yeah? yeah. Well done. Yeah. Boys, boys, we're going to get a trophy, yeah? Stand in the tunnel and wait till you get ready. Before we go out, listen, listen, boys, before we go out... That shows our fucking squad all over the season. Everyone's played their fucking part. People who might not have been involved for fucking weeks, but come in, everyone's done their shift. The whole fucking 25 hour over that. Yeah? Do you want so fucking don't matter. Like, you're fucking enjoying it. <laughs>
way to win it, man. I mean, this is a phenomenal team. Do you know what I mean? And uh, people get behind us because they entertain. We're not a boring team. I'm not a boring manager. No one's fucking boring. Like, we do things our way, and I think that's why we're popular. Oh, I think every emotion you can have has run through my body today. It's elation, jubilation, scoring, conceding in the 88th minute of a playoff, and you, you think it's over. Honestly, you think it's over. I've got to win this header for any sort of chance. And when I jumped, I felt my calf cramp straight away. But I'll just see the back of the net go in and, well, as you see, it was like ecstasy. We defended so well that we just sort of nullified their threats, really. So, yeah, that was good, but we defended well, so nullified them. <laughs> I smell horrendous. I know. You know, I'm, I'm lost for words, if I'm honest. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I've always been capable, yeah. I think I've always been capable of playing at a high level. I was pro in Scotland, and I just haven't had the breaks, to be honest. The, the players that he gets in, your Barry Fullers and that, he's always said to me, I don't know how you've never played in the Football League. It's just getting that break and getting that chance, and I've never had it. Um, and f thankfully, I found a club in Dorking that I can just rise through the levels with, you know. And it's yeah, it's been an unbelievable journey, and it's not going to stop here. Every week, I ask you, how are you going to deal with that result tonight? And you're always on to the next game. You're always on to the next thing. You're like a shark. You're constantly fucking yeah, swimming. Yeah, I'm worried already. So what happens to you now? But how the fuck do you play Oldham Athletic away from home? Right, when, you know, like, like, I ain't got a clue. See, the, the, the beauty of our club is we've never had a plan. I swear. Yeah, we've had, to have a, we've had to do, like, ground stuff as we've gone along, and we've always been up to deadline. We've always had to rely upon our sponsors to bail us out, you know. But the fact, the beauty of our club is we've never had a plan. We haven't got a plan now. We're going to be at Stunthorpe away, you know, all these Chesterfield, whoever it might be, Wrexham, Dawkins Wanderers, you know. And um, next year's going to be about staying out of the bottom four. I don't think your mate, mate, your mate will make it to fucking Wrexham, Rich. I'll let you go. Don't say that, Rich. I want to say here, but I mean, I don't know how you cut it in, but like, just to say, like, the fucking the support through, through what you've done and you guys have done, the support online, the players see that and they resonate with it, and it's been brilliant because what you've showcased is real fucking football. Real football by a real club that give a shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, in an, in an era where football's all about TV and fucking kids that probably don't even realise there's football going on, because all they do is watch Man United play Chelsea every week and try to work out is it a couple league game. You've showcased it, you lot. It's won us a lot of fans, mate, so you lot. Fippen, you never got on the pitch, yeah? But you had a fucking part to play. That's the bottom line, well done. Come here, mate. Come well done, here. mate. Fucking love you, mate. Well done, mate. Right, right mate, take this, I'm getting pissed off. If you 
said to me, I can guarantee you a win, and how will you do it? I'd say fucking like that, right? Because every fucker is up there tonight partying, I'll be with them, right? And going, it's like a dream material. Last kick of the game, equaliser, 10 pass move winner, you know, and then in front of our fans, we get over the line. It's unbelievable. Thanks for watching Bunch of Amateurs, especially if you watched all 32 episodes of Dorking Uncovered. We didn't mean to go on for that long. We should be back next season with Dorking Uncovered Season 3.